Um, next up, we're going to talk a little bit about home automation. How many people have had their home broken into in the last uh, five years? Not a nice thing. I remember when I lived in New York, that happened to me. How many people would, you know, you're here in Chicago, would like to see if the dog is actually piddling on the sofa, right? Well, you would, absolutely. So we're going to, I'm going to bring out Adam Mayer here, who's the Vice President of Smart Home Products and Solutions uh, for Time Warner Cable. And he's going to talk about a service sitting on top of the IP infrastructure that's not TV, it's not voice, but it's something really, really cool. So thank you for coming out. And let's take a look at, uh, at what we got. So, you know, here, here's the, 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 I want to start off with this, though. So, you know, we've all got smartphones, right? Now they're talking about smart TVs. You're making us have a smart house. Isn't anything dumb anymore? I just want a dumb something. Well, I'm the dumb one, I guess. There so. you go. You'll so, fill that role. So talk to me about the smart home and home monitoring sure. and what you guys are trying to do and where it's going. And I guess we're going to look at a bunch of these different things that we have here, as well as uh, we might actually turn that lamp on over there. <laughs> so take me through it. Sure. So Smart Home Solutions is Time Warner Cable's a home management system that offers next generation security, monitoring, control, automation, energy management. Uh, it's all offered over a wireless system in your home so you don't have to put lots of devices and, and wire the walls all over the place. Uh, and uh, we, have, we have some trials going on right now, we're pretty excited. So the, the heart of the system is this touch screen. So let me, let me take a step back. So, yes, please. So, to use this service, you right now have to be a Time Warner Cable customer. Today, yes. Right. Okay. So you're a Time Warner Cable customer. You've got a Time Warner set-top box or whatever. You need to have TV service? No, you don't have to have oh, TV don't. service. Okay. You actually don't have to have any service. Uh, from a technical standpoint, this can work anywhere that has a broadband pipe into it. Uh, from a business standpoint, Time Warner Cable right now is offered, well, right now we're only offering it in a couple so, markets, but longer term, it'll be offered only in our footprint. So you plug something into your, uh, your networking infrastructure at home some box that is ugly, so we're not, we don't have it here. Um, but in addition, you get this thing. So tell me what this thing right. is. Pick so, it up. And just so you know, the box that you plug in, hopefully it's not ugly. All we do is you take out your modem and replace it with a smarter modem. Your cable modem, your Doxus yes, or whatever, the, the, cable the, the, the Taze whatever, yeah. Doxus cable modem, we replace it with a gateway that's got a few wireless got networks it. on okay, it. Okay, so and then you also get this. So in addition this. to that, you get so this. So pick this up. Yep. And uh, why don't you come out it. so we can take a look at this thing here. So this is, again, the touchscreen, which is the hub of the system. Yep. And this touchscreen, before I actually show some of the apps on here, there's three different wireless chips in this touchscreen. One is a Wi-Fi, and that talks to the broadband gateway to right. talk out. Right, that second, ugly modem that you That brought ugly in. modem, yeah. right. The second is a cellular chip in here. So if broadband goes down for any reason, this actually is cellular backup. So your security and all your other features, well, security is provided over cellular backup. And third, there's actually a Zigbee wireless chip in here as well that talks to all the peripherals in your home, which we'll talk so about this, in So the second. Zigbee chip is what talks to all the, the home automation things that turns exactly. lights and stuff like that. Exactly, the so lights, the, exactly. With all those wireless chips in here, can you also fry an egg on it? We, we've tried that <laughs> once, and <laughs> didn't uh, it, didn't, it didn't taste so good. Okay. So uh, anyway, so you can see some basic apps on here. I mean, obviously, you've got security. So you can arm and disarm the system. One, two, three, four. Don't tell anybody. That's my code. Uh, that was very original. I never would have guessed that. It's like on space balls, right? <laughs> uh, and then I can disarm it very simply. So what are you actually controlling here? So this is actually the security unit is actually in here. So right, but you just, well, you armed and disarmed. What did you arm and disarm? So I armed your security system in oh, your oh, home. Oh, the whole security so system So if we had waited home. 60 seconds, if I had opened, if you, you know, you have this on a door, someone comes in, it's as if you're, you, the, the countdown would begin and you would have your system armed and right. you would protect it from burglars. Right, okay. So that was just the arming. There's lots of other stuff as well. So you can have cameras in your home. So on my touch screen, this can act as maybe a baby cam. Mm -hmm. You can have a camera at the front door. You want to see who's there. So I click on cameras. We have two cameras. We've got one over there, the right camera, one of the left camera. That left camera is actually brand new. We call it the eye camera. It's uh, night and outdoor, so it does oh, infrared. Cool. So right now, obviously, you can't see it. So I can put it on my porch and people can see how the surf was up, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so right now, it's connecting the camera and you can see it's pointing to us and let's see how it's usually like a five second delay, so it's a five second right. delay, so it's, it's pretty good video through the touch screen. And then lastly, now to be clear, this is not an iPad, we're not trying to be an iPad, but it is a device that could be sitting in your living room or bedroom, so we do want to have some apps that maybe are quick things you want to see, so we've got weather, right? Mm -hmm. Before I leave, I want to see weather. Uh, you've got um, news. Uh, one of my favorite is photos, so it actually hooks up to your Flickr account, so if this is sitting in your living room, it actually acts as a digital photo frame. So I have this in my home, and that's what my wife and I really like, so that you don't even know it's a security system. You just have our pictures of our friends so, and family. And I assume through. you can also do like heat, temperature monitoring, 
mirroring exactly. and stuff like so that. So, so, so for people so, who are remote, they exactly. Can... Let's do it right now. So through the touch screen, we have two lights. Um, we have the desk lamp and the floor lamp. So let's mm -hmm. turn on the desk lamp. Did it go on? Ooh. There you go, right? Off. Now it's much cooler. I'll show you in a little bit what's much more interesting than just doing it from there. You can also set the dimming, et cetera. Here, I'll draw the floor lamp. This is all going yep. through Zigbee. So there's a Zigbee module down there, and this touch screen is talking to Zigbee right and now. And for those of you who don't know, Zigbee is it, it uses the same sort of uh, transport at 802.11 at, at the 2.4 gigahertz, but it's actually a mesh network, which means that uh, if, if you've run into the situation where there have been problems at your home with interference, because it uses a mesh that isn't as big a deal, and it's also self-healing. There's a lot of things that are, make it really cool. Plus security, right? Yeah. I mean, there's security so aspects to it, So what's great too. about the Zigbee uh, RF protocol is there's, it's encrypted, unlike some of the other RF protocols out there, so it's much harder if a nefarious individual came into your home and wanted to break into the wireless. Someone wants to air snort your harder. Zigbee. Exactly. You can't air snort Zigbee. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we've been, um, the, what, what's one of the innovative things is using Zigbee for security, which is not really done in the U.S. before this solution. So talk about some of the other sort of things sure. we have. So, I mean, obviously down, right? you've got the touch screen, but what's really exciting about, oh, and it's very. I almost broke the touch screen. Very, it still works. Let's see, right? That was, that was good. Sorry about that. Um, so what's exciting though is, I mean, it's nice right. to have a touch screen in your home, but what's really exciting is all of these features you can do from anywhere around the world. I mean, as long as you have a PC, uh, there's a, everyone gets a web portal, and through that web portal you can arm, disarm, uh, you can arm, disarm, you can turn on the lights, turn off your lights. Uh, and also, there's a, there, today we have an iPad, iPhone app, and so I'll show you now. Um, uh, in August, we'll have an Android app as well. So this is actually going through the regular network, so let's log in. So this doesn't replace that other device you just showed us because no. you need all those uh, wireless chips and everything in that other thing. You need you need the other device, and actually one of the one of the rules to be CPO1 compliant in security is you need to actually have a keypad plugged ah. in. So you actually need something like this. You actually have to be able to. When you type in that keypad, it has to be plugged in. So you can do this and instead of that, but you do need that to be CPO1 compliant. Okay. So in any event, you can see here, so you, on the, on the, using your keypad, I can arm and disarm and see cameras. So let's look at the right camera over there. And let's see, I'm going to block your video. So it's a little slower because of all the wireless interference in here, but you can kind of see it going. Hold on, give it a couple seconds. There it goes. So, uh, so you got that camera. You can look at another camera. Uh, we can we can do thermostat. So here I can change the temperature. I would show you guys this, but yesterday I, I set the hall down to 30 degrees and got in trouble. So I, in your I, house, that's I, great. No, no, here actually. So oh, I won't here. Do that again. oh, really? That was a joke. Okay, so I don't see any snow. Um, <laughs> so then lights, same thing, right? I could turn on and off lights. So did that go on? Yes, yep, it did. You're on. And off and again, it's this is on, all this good. is going through the wireless network and Wi-Fi to this hub, the touchscreen converting to Zigbee and then talking to the lights That's on and off. Cool. So you can see how quick it goes. Um, you can also see if I open if you, if you if I open a door, you can see the back door opening on the on there. You see that open so, close. So this right here actually allows this is this was what you would put on a window. Yep, exactly. And those two things right there allow you to open and close it and you show it being open like that or closed. Yep. Cool. So right. So yep. you see how quick that goes. Uh, and then what, what's really cool, though, to me about the Smart Home solution, and, and I won't be able to show this today, is on the portal, it's not on the iPhone app, but on the web portal, there's a really sophisticated rules engine. And with that rules engine, what you can do is actually make the Smart Home actually smart. It's not just about, well, you have security here, you have thermostats, you have lighting. You can actually set rules to integrate those together. So, for example, if I was going on vacation, I could say, set up vacation mode. Hit one button, and that will automatically arm my system, make the lights go on every day at 10 o'clock, turn the thermostat down, and send me an email with a picture from the camera if anyone walks by my front door over this week. Cool. So that's really you get to be the smart homing. I'll show you yeah. one. Wait, oh, oh, oh sorry. That's I'm, just the key file. I, I'm, I'm pulling through a couple of that's other okay. things. That's okay. So that's the thermostat. This is the thermostat That's right the thermostat. Here. So this is a Zigbee thermostat. Obviously, you'd hook it up to your wall with the C-wire, hey, so, and then it works. So these devices, um, can you go out to any store and buy these things? Or so, do you... so today, you get it all from Time Warner Cable. Okay. The vision longer term is certainly to have a smart home solution compatible, maybe logo when you right. go to Lowe's or Home Depot, and then you could buy these things yourselves. I mean, it's, it's, so it's something that we're definitely looking this, long term. Oh, and that's just this, a key fob. This key fob you would put on your keys and this would allow you to exactly. turn the system on and off again as well. Exactly. All right, so let's talk about how much, when it's available. I mean, look, this looks like, this stuff looks expensive. No, well, it, it looks expensive, which is why one of some of the appeal of it, you know, I was talking to some of our senior management and with, when we said the demo to them, they said, this is great because traditionally, 
This is something that you think you would need a custom installation seat. You know, if you go to the Cedia trade show, they've got these all over the place. It costs $10,000. It's a two-day installation. You've got to wire all the walls. The reason that Time Warner Cable is confident this is going to be a big success is because we're bringing that to more of the mass market. Uh, it's a very quick install. Our installs are doing the whole home in two the goal is two hours. Right now we're at two and a half. Wow. But we're pretty confident we'll get it down to two. Traditional security can take four hours, if not two days, because you have to scope out the whole house. Uh, so it's an easy install. And then to your question, the cost, of course, is very affordable. Um, we have trials right now in Syracuse. So this is a trial price. So this is it's public in Syracuse, yeah. but it could change. But right now, the basic kit, which includes a touchscreen, two-door windows, and a motion, is 99 uh, and then anything extra is, is any extra peripheral cost extra. I think our average install is ranging about 250 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the monthly fee is 33 if you're bundled, 39 if you're not bundled. Okay. But again, just to be clear, that is just what's happening in Syracuse right now as we roll this out over the next few months, uh, it, it could very well change. Now, I know ADT and other monitoring systems have people that you can call, and they'll call the fire and police for you. And things. Does, that, does that price include that sort it, of service? It definitely does. In fact, Time Warner Cable, we've actually been, what people don't know is Time Warner Cable and other cable companies as well have actually been in the home security space for decades, and we have our own central monitoring station. It's five diamond rated in Syracuse that right oh, really? now monitors Thirty to 40,000 homes already. So we're using our own employees to do all of that, whether they're dispatching police, fire, or medical. That's all controlled by Time Warner Cable. Very cool. Well, Adam, thank you very much. Thank we're you, out Jim. of time. Now, if you could just, I'm just going to turn the lights off myself. Okay. Here. Starting lights. Uh, okay, off. You know, it's you so go. easy, even I can. And then let me show you guys one thing, even though I'm being kicked off. Is this the front door? Okay. This is the front door. So I you can see one rule we head. set up, right? We said open the front door, turn the light on, close the front door, turn it off. So you walk home, open the door, light goes on. Close the door, light goes off. So that's a simple idea of a rule. Imagine integrating all of the different verticals together, and you really have the smart home. Adam, thank you very much. Thank that you. was awesome. What do you guys think? Very thank good. Okay. Thanks a lot.